Thank you for joining me today. This is Jim with Jim's Garage Toys and I am going to be doing an oil change and a transmission gear oil change on my 2017 Corolla IM. So this will be the same for any Corolla from uh, 2014 on up with a six-speed manual. So I've got everything laid out. I've got two quarts of Redline MTLV, which is what this calls for. And uh, I've got extra washers. I always pick up plenty. So I've got two new washers for the fill and drain plug. I believe it's a 24 millimeter. I'll find out soon enough. I've got a half, half inch ratchet for that. And then my oil filter goodies. I've done uh, an oil filter video on this car already. So I will go ahead and link that to this so this one's mainly going to be on the gear oil change and so we will go ahead and document everything and show everybody where the drain and fill bolts are to do this it's a simple drain and fill i just drove the car in town and back so everything's warmed up nicely and we'll go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do um Normally, if I'm just doing the engine oil, I use my ramps. But if you're going to be changing the gear oil, you want the car level. So I use the ramps for the front, and then I jacked up the back and put jack stands underneath there that you can see. And the jack is still there also as a third point of balance. So, and just make sure that it's close to level. Looking at this, it looks pretty, pretty close. Looking at the bottom sill, the rocker's there. So, car is up. Now we can go ahead and start draining the oil. Normally I would use my quick jack because that would be it, but it's still under my Corolla Turbo because still working on a few things. Got to fix a fog light that's not working right and I wanted to install a different gauge. I wanted to put an oil temperature gauge in there too. So, just haven't gotten to that, but it's no rush. So, We'll go ahead and do this and get it ready for my big road trip coming up. So I'm under the car and what we need to do is this panel here. We need to go ahead and take that off. So there are a bunch of clips and a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts, as you can see right there. So we need to go ahead and get this piece out. And so we will go ahead and undo any of these bolts we find so we'll just go around so um, pop those off take off any clips and slide this off that'll be the next okay. thing so um, under the car if we remove the the panel so you can see it on the floor over there so I've removed that nothing but 10 millimeter bolts and some clips so pretty pretty easy and so now we have access to the transmission so here is I'm looking front to back here so there is our drain bolt it's not a 24 millimeter on this one it is an allen wrench bolt so probably a eight millimeter i'm guessing and then the fill the fill bolt is right there. So, and what you want to do is, I always have new washers to replace that on the fill bolt. And you always want to loosen the fill bolt first and make sure you can get it loose. You don't want to drain it and then realize you can't get that bolt loose. So it looks like a 24 millimeter like I thought. On my five speed, it's the same 24 millimeter for both the drain and the fill. So, but uh, we'll go ahead and I grab my drain pan and we'll loosen, break this one loose right there. And as soon as we can break it loose, then we'll go ahead and start draining the gear well. So 
So I was going to initially use my 24 millimeter socket, but it's, it's tight. There's a thin, uh, a small area um, without taking off the splash guard. So no need to take that off. I got enough room to work around it. But instead I use my 24 millimeter wrench and that will do the trick. Okay, so I was able to get the angle I want with this. So let's see if it breaks loose fairly easily. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So that's all you want. You just want to make sure you can get it loose. Now it's finger tight. So now I can go ahead and loosen it and go ahead and let her give myself access to fill it back up at least. So now we'll go ahead and work on the drain bolt right there. So let me get my Allen's and we'll go from that point. So this is what you need for the for the drain plug. So it's a Allen wrench. And you can use a normal Allen wrench, but you might not have enough leverage on it unless you have some extra long ones. So these are, this is a 10 millimeter. I think I said eight earlier, but I was thinking 10, but it is a 10 millimeter. I verified the fitment on it and uh three inch socket so and with this i can either have it short like this on a normal one or i can extend it out that's why i love these so now i have a lot more leverage so and i have these in three eighths and on the other side it's a quarter inch drive three eighths on this side and then I have a half inch one too. So, so it acts like a breaker bar at the same time, but it's ratcheting. Super nice. So anyway, let's go ahead and get that drain plug and get it draining. So it was nice. I got on it, broke loose without any problem. So now I just got to loosen it and let it start to start to drain. So I need two hands to do it though. So I'm going to turn this off a second. Okay, so here's the drain plug so everybody can see them. So 24 millimeter for the fill bolt and, a, and its washer, crush washer, and then a 10 millimeter Allen and its crush washer. So, so I do have fresh washers and this does look like the same size so that's good the parts department gave me the right one so like i said i just buy a bag of them so that way i have them for future changes and um i think all of my manual transmission cars all four of them take the same crush washer for their transmissions which is nice they all use the same size bolts so um so we'll go ahead and that's draining and we'll let that uh, drip so it can get as much out of it as possible before we fill her back up. So I'm back under the transmission. Got the new, or not the new, but the uh, drain bolt back up with a new crush washer on it. And then the fill bolt is up here on the side of it. Now you can see right there, I've got a clear tube going into the fill bolt. Some people will sit there and use one of the little hand pumps to pump it up in there. And that's a pain. That is just a nightmare. So I'll show you the little trick that I do. So go ahead and insert that into the uh, fill hole. And you fill, on a manual transmission, you fill it up until it starts uh, pouring out of it. So you're never going to overfill it. So, because it won't let you, as long as the car is level. So then I'll show you how I do it on the top side. So, this is what I do. I have a funnel connected to that tube. And it's just going down into it. I know this transmission takes two and a half quarts of gear oil. So now, from up here, I can just pour in and let gravity do the work. So don't ever pay for a pump. I mean, this was a, a, you know, a couple dollars, if that, worth of clear tubing. And with a little 
49 cent or 99 cent uh, tube. And I just keep it hung up over in the garage and anytime I'm doing a transmission, I whip it out. Yeah. Okay, so I've poured roughly about two and a half quarts and came down to check to see if it was dripping. So there you can still see the hose in it. And it is dripping. So I see it dripping off the frame rail there. So I know that it's full. So I'll pull out the hose now and all I gotta do is put the fill plug back in it and the transmission will be done. Okay, as a final wrap up. So there is the fill plug tightened back on there. That's a 24 millimeter. It does not have to be super tight. This is an aluminum casing. So snug it down with a new washer and it'll be good to go. So, and once again, there's the drain plug. So, also changed the oil when I was here. So, engine oil is changed with the new filter plugs back on. So, should be all set. Now, the one thing that I did do, and I'll point this out here, is right here, these two holes right here. This is the inner lining for the fender. I, I took those two plastic clips out and that gave me just a little bit, you can see here, then it just pulled away. It gave me a little more room to maneuver the, um, the plastic tubing that I was pouring the gear oil down into. So once I filled that up and stuff, now I'll just clip these two back in there and she'll be good to go. So anyway, that is it. All I gotta do now is, you know, go ahead and put your cover back on, um, the multitude of 10 millimeter bolts and clips, and uh, it's a job well done. So we will finish that up and call it a day.